Okay, I'm going to do my final video on anything kin related, unless it really needs to be done, but um, I'm going to do my final review after having the kin 1M for a week and a half. Um, okay, overall, I do still like the phone. It is easy to put in my pocket, it stays there. I like that when it makes a noise to tell me it has a, a text message, I can actually hear it. I don't need to put it on vibrate, vibrate kills your battery. I have it on normal setting sound and it lasts a at least two days, at least two days, um, which I'm, I'm very happy with. It is very, very user friendly. I slide it open, it's there. I get a text message. All I need to do is just a brush it open, a click on my text message, type it, close and then back in my pocket. It's not having to fiddle with a whole bunch of other stuff. It's very user friendly. I love the threaded messaging. I got, I have pictures for all my friends and my contacts. So I just have a person next to them and I type, type, type. And it's, it's just so simple. The, um, the emoticon slash smiley button, I use it all the time. It just pops up there. I just quickly click on what smiley face I want to use. I don't have to go push the green button. The green button is I made so you can use the numbers or the keys above it in green. So I don't need to click on the smiley face. That means just click the smiley face button and I'm done. If you want to go to a contact really quickly, just start typing. And then it'll. Or do you write to a, con a, a contact if you want to call or whatever? Super simple, super easy. I have my favorites all set up and everyone has pictures. It's it's just so simple. Just click on the person and then just type and just click whatever one you want to call or whatever. And I love this setting. Oh my goodness. Okay. Right there, there's two little dots. Then you probably can't see them. As you can't see them, but if you're in the proper light, you can see them. And so, when you call someone, I'll call a random five and see. Look, it goes to my ear, and then it turns black. And we take it away, it goes back on. So you're not cheek dialing anyone, and it is amazing that I can do that. It, it's that's a really good feature. I really like it. The Zoom feature, I have my iPod with me all the time. And so like at school, I don't really need to use it. But today, I went down to Seattle. And um, I was at the Fremont Market. And I was bored waiting for the bus. And I wanted to listen to some music real quick. And I busted out this. I had my earphones on me. And I had music right then and there. It's, it's good quality for whenever you don't have your iPod with you. Um, what... A web browser. I used it mostly to to go on Facebook to find a, a quick picture of a friend that I can use as their contact. But like when I'm at home and I'm laying in bed about to go to, about to fall asleep, and then someone tells me like a funny YouTube video I want to watch, I'll just go on YouTube real quickly and just like chill in bed until I fall asleep and watch a few YouTube videos. It's it's easy to do, and it's just it, it actually works. Um, other good features about it, besides that it's so user friendly. Actually, I'll add on to how user friendly it is. Let's say you're texting someone, blah, blah, blah. Just go to recents. You can go back to the music and pick a song that, that you want to watch. A little song that you want to listen to. And then after you pick a song, you just click there and go back to messages really quickly. Super easy. Oh. Oh, and the problem I have with it, it shows your a call log also in your messages. I don't like that part, but you can just quickly go, delete, and and done. Easy. All right. Let's see. What other little features should I mention? Um, if you want to do a screenshot, so let's say you had a conversation with someone, you were texting someone, just... And someone wants to see what you're talking about. Just 
click the pressure button, but don't click it all the way down, just barely click it, and then push the back button, and then bam, go to pictures, and then oh, there it is, the screenshot you just took. Now, I love the camera on this, it's so good. Um, I was on Friday at school, I was just messing around, um, it, was, it was a waste of a day. And we were just like taking pictures of people like from across the classroom. I was zooming in on people, taking those like weird photos like their face when they weren't looking at all. It's, it's super funny, but there isn't very many variations you can do with the camera. So you have the camera and you can't really do anything with it besides, I mean, you can change like flash, um, autofocus and like home office, like the lighting stuff, but you can't change it making a noise like when you click and take a picture like it, it's gonna make noise regardless and video i also have a small little problem with the video too it um it it only tapes for one minute so whatever's happening the finale of fireworks on on new year's or whatever you're gonna take one minute of it and then it just stops and i tried checking to see if you can go into settings so you could change that and you could not so it's whatever it doesn't really matter to me i don't take videos that often anyways other settings it doesn't have an alarm clock i wish that the alarm clock allowed you to use music from your zoom to um wake up to but you can't it only uses its um original settings uh, that come with it and the names for the ringtones are super cheesy, and the ringtones themselves are like techno y. But like, I like techno, but it's not like cool techno. It's like weird, cheesy techno. So the ringtones it's, aren't that good. But that was just buying like ringtones. So you can just go and buy a ringtone. But it does have a, a long one this time. Last time it didn't. And also, you can have your phone on silence as you're going to sleep, and you can still use the alarm clock to wake you up and it will make noise that's pretty cool as a calendar you can make dates or whatever i haven't done anything i don't really need a calendar i know what day it is i don't really got much to do not that important as a, as a calculator i don't need this either when am i i'm not on the go and just need a calculator right then there it also has email Email has been completely useless to me because if you want to use email, you have to use data. And I'm not going to pay for data. That's why I have this phone. If I wanted to pay for data, I'd get a smartphone. So there's no point in having email on here because I'm not going to be paying for data. One cool thing is, though, you can pin your favorite websites to your homepage. So let's say I want to go to Facebook real quick. I want Starbucks. I need to post a, a status ASAP. Click Facebook, bam, go there. Easy. Um, I've pretty much gone through everything. If you want more detail on other things, just tell me to put more detail into them. Or just go to my previous videos. And overall, I like the phone. It has good features. I, I actually like that it's small. I haven't gotten too many people saying, oh, it's super gay. Because when you open it up, it's the exact same size as any other phone like a blackberry the curve and everything it's the same size as it as it's sitting like this it's the exact same size so it's no big deal about the size i like it it's not too big not too small there you go